Okay, here we are using uh, Bubble.us, great concept mapping software um, in the cloud. What we're going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to assume that you've already registered for a new account. You can see my tutorial on how to do that if you haven't done so yet. Um, also, I'm going to assume that you've been logged in. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to click this Start Brainstorming. Okay. And right in here is where you can type in your first concept. So we're going to do volcanoes today. So if my concept is volcanoes. And it's assuming I can spell. Um, to change the font and the text and all that, you just hover over your bubble. And right in here you can click the color and change the color of your bubble. Or you can hover over top and click this little text button here and uh, select the color of your text if you want. Um, these two things that pop up here, these are what's called a child bubble or child node. You're going to uh, click on those to get uh, the next concept underneath volcanoes. So let's say I want to do uh, three types of volcanoes or just types of volcanoes. Okay, and right here we do types of lava. And right here we do famous volcanoes. Okay, once you got your concepts in, nice thing is you can move them around so that you can make room for yourself. I guess I better spell lava, right? Okay, so let's say we're going to do three types. Well, there's three types of volcanoes, so I'm going to get three more child nodes. I'm kind of running out of room, so I just shift it over. And we've got shield. Sorry, I hit tab and it creates a new one, by the way. Shield, composite, and cinder cone. Okay, and so now we've got these. Let's say you don't want this one. I accidentally got it, so I'm just going to hover over top and click the delete button. Okay. Um, and then I can add, you know, the descriptions of a co composite volcano by doing it this, okay? Once you're done with your concept map, you can say fit to screen, and it'll kind of show you what it looks like all together. Um, if you want to print it, click the print button, and it'll print it out the way you want it. Um, to export it, you can click on, uh, the export button. There's two things you can export it to. You can export it as an image both JPEGs or uh, PNGs, um, or you can export it as an HTML outline, which is kind of cool too if you want an outline of the whole thing. But let's just export it as an image to show you what it looks like. So we're going to click export. It's going to save it. It's going to come up to here, and we're going to click on this, and that's what it'll look like. So now you can actually copy or save that into your web page or blog or even onto a handout sheet that you plan on giving to your students. Um, that's really all there is to use in Bubble.us. Fantastic program. I highly recommend it for simple uh, concept mapping. And uh, good luck. Read my blog and tutorial on there if you want any more information. Thanks.